in this lecture we are going to learn about finding good hash functions okay so last lecture we learned about what is hash function what are hash tables this lecture we are going to learn how to find a good hash function or how to design a good hash function so some of the qualities of good hash function are first is it's easy to compute okay so it's easy to compute because we said that finding h of x to find where to insert an element in a hash table or to search it we directly compute h of x this means and we assume that it's o of 1 so it's important that calculating h of x does not in fact becomes another algorithm okay so it should be very simple easy to compute next thing is that if we have lots of cells okay lots of cells are there in your hash table then whatever hx for random x it should distribute all the keys evenly okay so everything should be uniformly distributed it should not happen that for example we saw that okay if h of x we choose as let's say x modulo 10 and we have let's say the input as 10 20 100 200 10000 and 500 okay so what will happen this for this particular input in fact this x mod 10 which is the hash function it's not evenly distributed okay so let's see why 8 9 okay so 4 5 6 7 8 9 okay so what will happen 10 modulo 10 again it this will hash 10 will come here 20 will also come here 100 200 10,000 and 500 all will come here so this is not even distribution of these numbers in this hash okay because in this table still 9 out of 10 cells are empty and all of them are hashing to the same zero cell okay so that's a not good distribution so let's try out with some prime number and in fact if we have something like x modulo some prime number then it's basically good even distribution we can get so let's try out with 7 okay so now what will happen so we will have let's try to write with some different color so 10 modulo 7 it will come here 10 20 will come to which one so it will come to 6 100 will come now again division so what will happen so here 98 i think so it will 2 it will go there so 100 will come here then 200 again so you have to divide fast i am not that fast so 2, 14, 60, so 7, 8, 56, I think, 4. So it will go to 4. So now you can at least see that it's getting evenly distributed. 500, it will go 7, 7 is 49, 3 is the remainder. So now it will come here. But still we can see it's so much evenly distributed all the cells are being now occupied 10,000 also you have to calculate what it will be but it's not coming such a bad case like that of x modulo 10 so uh, x modulo some prime number okay that will give you a better evenly distributed hash function okay and the final thing is of course it should not have much collision okay so we call lambda as a load factor okay so load factor it tells that if we have the table size as t and you have n elements to insert in the hash table then lambda is n by t so this is called the load factor and higher the load factor of course you will expect that your lambda will be your number of collisions will increase okay so by seeing this now we will try out some examples to see how good some hash functions are okay so a few problems we will see with string okay so how we manage string for hashing so first thing strings are not numeric so you need to 
take their ascii value okay so what we will do is we have let's say key is a string okay so it's a string and we want to hash it so of course so it's a string or character so array so we will have key 0 key 1 etc and how to find the hash function okay so let's say we have a table size that is 10007 again it's a prime number okay so your table size is equal to 10007 now what will happen so we will have hash of key we are saying that it will be from key 0 plus key 1 plus key 2 plus key 3 till you go on till the length of that string and then we that sum all the ascii characters we divide it by 10007 and get the remainder that is your hash function this looks to be a cool hash function okay but if you look little bit in deep then you will find that okay this might have a problem so what is it so usually you can assume that we are assuming let's say that here the string length maximum for us is that okay we have eight is the length of the string okay so now what happens is let's try to find the maximum value of the hash okay without this remainder so what will happen is let's say all of them have the ascii value 127 so ascii value is from 0 to 127 it's a 8-bit int let's say so all of them have the value 127 then key 0 plus key 1 plus key 2 plus maximum 8 is the length of the string so 127 plus 127 plus 127 eight times okay so in fact if you see the sum is 1016 okay which is not that big compared to 10007 10, okay so what it means that whatever is the string okay then also everything is lying in this range only okay so here it's in this part whereas this length is 10,000 and it's approximately only 1,000 are the so its hash function h of x is basically giving you putting all the elements in the cells from in its only 1 by 10th part so 90% of your hash table is just empty and here you will be having a lot of collisions this is not uniformly distributed so it fails the criteria second criteria that it should have uniformly distributed okay so this one calculation of this is in fact simple so it's easy to compute just you have to sum them up and then find the remainder by dividing it with 10007 but it's not evenly distributed so this we can discard okay not good then let's say someone tells that okay so you are saying that because it's not utilizing this 10,000 uh, array indexes uh, index so let's make something some hash such that it's some that we are getting here it is now larger okay and it can be from 0 to 10,007 and in fact more okay bingo so they say that okay now I have designed something and he says a student that okay see this one now you cannot tell that okay it's not uniformly distributed okay good so what he says key 0 plus 27 into key 1 plus 27 square that is 729 into key 2 he takes the last three characters okay of the word string and he says that okay now you sum like this and you will get very large values so he says that okay previously you did something like this find the maximum value now i am doing the same here and you see that okay 127 is the value for key 0 27 into 127 will be for key 1 729 into 127 for the third one okay so sum them up and it's something nine thousand nine what is this then so 95,000 okay so something much greater okay 95,250 much greater than one ten thousand seven. okay he says that now it was it is basically it will cover a lot of big range but and he is very happy okay he says that now you cannot find any mistake 
but let's try to see and analyze this case now there are problems with english alphabets okay distribution of characters in english and if you take three letters contiguous letters of a word okay like you are forming some english word and take three letters combination so you will say that okay there is 26 into 26 into 26 these many possibilities are there which is quite large this will be around 17,576 and that is quite much but what happens in English only 2851 combinations are there for three contiguous letters okay and that's only 28 percent of your 10,007 so this again will not give you much better distribution okay this again will not be utilizing much of your 10,007 cells and so finally we come up with another one which is much better because he is now taking all the keys all the characters in that letter and then he is multiplying it with 32 to the power of i so it will become something like if we have let's say india okay so india i don't know exactly what are the ascii values of this but let's say something random okay so this is key 0 key 1 2 3 4 okay so it will be key of the so key size is 5 so key of 4 into 32 to the power of 0 okay plus key of 1 okay so 3 into 32 to the power of 1 plus key of 2 into 32 square plus key of 1 32 q plus what will happen now it will be key of 0 32 to the power of 4 so this will be the summation and one thing good about it is it's easy to compute you will ask why the thing is key 4 then you just these are power of 32 so they are not multiplication in fact this is just a multiplication so left shift will happen because 2 to the power of 5 multiplication becomes very easy and in fact the distribution also will be the best because I am taking all the characters okay and this sum will be also larger than 10,007 and they will be much evenly distributed so this is the best one so we have found till now on our examples okay so this is about how what is good hash function okay it's easy to compute evenly distributed okay last one will do that the best less number of collision okay even distribution it also little much implies that okay there will be less collisions okay so this is for the hash function so i hope you understand this thanks a lot